So this is a series circuit. The first thing you want to do is make sure that all of the resistors are touching the metal plates on the bottom. Once you've done that, we can measure the resistances. So on this meter, you want to make sure the red cord is in the ohm port and that the dial is set to 400. And then you take the individual resistances. So this blue one is reading about 200-ish. Um, if it ever reads OL, like this one does, that means you're going to want to jump the dial to 4K. It's now reading kilo ohms. And so if I were to attach here, I've got 0.468 kilo ohms, which is 468 ohms. So this is R1, R2, R3, and then R total would be like so. Notice for resistance, you do not have the power attached, only the multimeter. So now we're going to measure voltage. So to measure voltage, you're gonna actually have to connect the power, leave the red cord where it is, but then move the dial to 40 volts. And just like resistance, to find the voltage across the first resistor, you just simply do this. So that's V1, V2, V3, and V total. Lastly, we're gonna measure current. And since current is the same everywhere in a series circuit, we only have to make one measurement of current. You're gonna to have to move this over to the micromilliamp port and turn the dial to the 400M. Disconnect either side. I'll disconnect the negative side and then reconnect with your meter in place and then that's going to read the current through each of the resistors as well as the total current. If for some reason you get a negative reading that just means you have the red and black cords switched around.